Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of this. It is the Thinking Anglers Rucksack. Uh, this is the 2021 version, so they've added a few additional features onto the rucksack, which in my opinion make it very, very good. So let's have a quick rundown of what you get. Let's have a look at the outside first. Each side you've got three bank stick holders. So you can have a total of six or three on each side. Just note, um, these are not closed at the bottom though. So if you do have the longer sticks and they, uh, they poke through, be careful not to put it down on any sort of surface you don't want to scratch or damage. Now the rucksack itself is very square, which in my opinion is fantastic. When it fits on your back, it's not too cumbersome, fits nice and snug, but also if you want to just chuck it on the barrow, it's less likely to roll off being square. The bag itself has one main compartment and then two side pockets, a pocket on the front for your tackle box, and then also this new pocket on the top. So this is great for keeping things like your alarms in or so on. So on the outside of the bag, you can see that this is a Camflex version. There are two options. It's this cool Camflex color. Uh, alternatively, they do a standard olive green version. Both bags, exactly the same, identical. So the only thing that's different is the color. Now, on the outside, you've also got straps on the side. So there's two elastic ones, but then two firm ones. Now they've got three slots in each. So good for putting your catapult in. You can actually put other bags on there if you wanted. On the back of the bag, you've got this big foam section. It's thinner at the top and then thicker at the bottom. So that gives a bit of extra lumbar support when you're carrying a bag, and that makes it really, really comfortable in actual fact. So looking at the bag itself, as I say, if you want to chuck it on the barrow, it does have two handles either side, so you can pick it up comfortably. Not going to pull your back out or anything. And then there's also a handle on the back here as well. So, zips pockets. Each zip has two zippers on, and then a molded on thinking angler's uh, sort of handle bit. And then there's a flap that goes down over the top of all the zips. So it protects the zip from any sort of dirt, grit, uh, sort of prolong the life of the zip as well. Now on the very top of the bag, you do also have these adjustable straps. So if you've got sort of a small rolled mat or like a carp mat that's gonna fit in there, that'll be ideal. Alternatively, you could put your damp clothes on there. I actually use mine for the camera tripod. Slip it in and then put it down nice and tight. Stops it going anywhere. So this bag, is not huge it's sort of very comfortable when you wear it on your back but it holds a lot of gear so let's have a look what i've got inside my bag so let's start with the top pocket this is the new feature of the 2021 version now open this up as you open it up got a zipper pocket just there now for me personally i keep things like my bobbins snag ears sort of tools for my alarms. And then also included with the bag is this rig tray. So if you want to make your rigs out on the bank, uh, on your lap, have this down and then uh, you're not going to lose all your components, which is really handy. I actually use it to protect my alarms though, because it's a little bit of added protection. In the top, this is where I keep my alarms, my buzz bars. So I managed to fit in there my three uh, buzz bars, well my three alarms on the buzz bar. These are the Fox Q, uh, QR, I think they are, the adjustable ones. So I've got the front and the back, and then also my receiver. Right, so now if we come around to the front of the bag, now this is where I keep my tackle box. Now in that fits the Corda tackle safe, which again, another great bit of kit, holds a lot of, uh, lot of tackle, that one. But if we fold that down, you do have an elasticated pouch in there. So you can keep sort of valuable items maybe, stuff you want to keep uh, away from uh, everything else. And then if we come around to the side, these pockets seem to go on forever for me. So in this one, I've got three top pots of uh, hook baits. I've actually got a sandwich box here of pellet, just my little PVA sticks. Uh, again, you could fit a kilo in there if you wanted to. And if we come around to the other side, 
And this one, got a spare pair of scissors, marker float. Got my head torch when it gets dark, some spare LEDs, night light, the Fox Halo photography light. Also, my bivy light. And then I keep uh, just a wasteling, just in case I ever get on the fish. So, that's the, uh, the outside pockets. Let's now tackle the main pocket then. So, again, the two zips, lift the lid up. Once again, another zipper pocket. So in this one, I keep my uh, passes, sort of lake passes, membership cards. When I'm fishing, I'll drop my phone in there and my car keys so they're kept nice and safe. And then in the bag itself, my main LEDs that I'm gonna be using throughout the session. I then keep one of these quarter bags. Now this is gonna have everything I need for my fishing, the type of fishing I'm doing that day. So I'll keep me rigs, my PVA, hook sharpener, carp care, spare PVA, and also maybe solid bags and so on. And then in the bag itself, I keep this as well, which is my camera bag. So this is the medium size quarter compact camera bag, waterproof, keep everything nice and uh, secure. And then at the bottom of the bag, I keep my scales pouch. Now that's quite a large pouch in actual fact, that's the Rubens, so it does take up quite a bit of room. Now you don't have to put the bags in like I do. Inside they do have individual pockets running around the side, so you can put your lights and bits and bobs in the side, and then obviously your main things in the front, so if you want to put a cooker in there or a toaster. But these are not padded, so you can push these back flat, and then obviously it gives you more access to put stuff like I do in the middle. So there's everything I fit within my bag for a session. This bag, fantastic. They've hit the mark at every opportunity. Really, really like this bag. Probably my uh, favorite bag actually. So if I'm going for a quick session, 24 hour or overnight, I fit everything in there, have it on my back. If I'm going for a longer session, put a bit more weight in, just chuck it on the barrel, strap it down, jobs are good. Em. So if you're in the market for a bag, Definitely have a look at this. It is a sort of contender in my eyes. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews again on the vid uh, on the channel, so please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and I'll see you next time.